You know, when I started out, honestly, the dream was just to work in movies. It was work on a movie. That was the dream. Just get one film under your belt. You know, as a kid, it was all about movies. Not even visual effects, but just making movies, filmmaking. You work on these, these frames, you know, these shots, these sequences for months, months and months and months. And there's so much care and love that goes into it. One of the things that most people don't appreciate is a lot of the times these actors aren't even holding the weapons that they're swinging around. We put them in for safety reasons. So they're fully CG, all the clashing, the sparks, the dents left behind, the bullet trails, the explosions, you know, it's all fabricated in, in visual effects. So you get to really create all that madness and mayhem in the computer. And obviously when people watch it, they just watch it as if it really took place on set. And that's quite rewarding to see. I really enjoyed Ant-Man. Um, we were primary vendor on that, so we had a lot of work to do, uh, 400 shots, but there was a lot of voids in the screenplay or in the, in the post view. So there was a lot of areas for us to create from scratch. And that's amazing to, to be able to come in, conceptualize, design, animate, all the way through to final. Um, you don't get that opportunity a lot of the times. You know, we're talking full CG for a whole sequence. You do try to draw from style frames or really, you know, strong comic book poses because that's what the fans are used to. But obviously with, with a show like Ant-Man, it's very much about reference because it's, it's a world we haven't really explored before. You really do have to go out and shoot reference, get the macro lens and, and really just see what's, what's down on a level, you know? It's like there's hairs and dust mites and all sorts of crazy things that you try to replicate in the film. During my second year, there was a, a lecturer named Simon who showed us his BBC showreel. Um, it was in a very intimate classroom and it just blew my mind, you know. I'd never been exposed to that level of quality and finishing of work and I kind of just understood that there's a whole other world out there beyond curtain that, you know, is ready for me to, to tackle. Seeing your name roll down the credits, it's an incredible experience. It's, it's, it's humbling to see. I just love being part of that experience. I love knowing that you were able to craft this amazing piece for the world to see. And yeah, as I said, it hasn't gotten old yet. I don't think it will. I just love movies too much.